Hi, I'm Renaud Vidal, working with At Risk and specialized, At Risk is specialized in organizational behavior and resilience. And I'm also a dissemination manager of the European research project called InfraStress on critical infrastructure protection. And through these short videos, we will update you regularly on the life of the project. Today, Giovanni Mazzeo joins us. So Giovanni, you're a researcher with Chile, which is a consortium of Italian universities specialized in uh, information and communication technology. And Chini is also the technical coordinator of the project. Yeah. So could you please briefly present your organization, maybe your lab, and particularly its overarching vision? Sure. Yeah, uh, basically CINI, uh, as you said, is a consortium of Italian university uh, comprising several research groups uh, specialized in the field of computer science. Uh, I am part of the University of Naples Partenope and uh, of the fitness uh, research group. Uh, our group has a strong experience uh, in the field of uh, security and dependability of computer systems. Uh, we conduct investigations uh, in diverse areas covering uh, security, information and event management, uh, trusted computing and critical infrastructure protection. Uh, we took part in several national and uh, projects funded by the European Commission uh, in the context of uh, critical infrastructure and health protection, for example. So there are a number of projects uh, like Horizon 2020, uh, such as Sereca, Confido, Limbic Data, Compact. And uh, we provide our contribution in the context of infrastress for the basically for the identification and the correlation uh, of attack events and security relevant information, and also for uh, uh, as also important for the implementation of a virtual test bed solution that enables reliable security testing in uh, service infrastructures. So you said that you're part of the fitness group. Uh, what, do you know what? Can you tell us what fitness stands for? Sure, fitness stands for uh, fault and intrusion tolerant networked systems. Okay. That is the stand uh, for the acronym. Thank you. So um, my first question would be, um, according to you, what, what are the most important challenges uh, related to critical infrastructure protection? Yeah. Uh, our idea is that, well, um, critical infrastructures, uh, I, as you as you know, are witnessing uh, the large usage of uh, cyber physical systems for controlling their particular assets. Uh, in these systems, in uh, cyber physical systems, we can notice more and more a tight co coexistence of information and operational technologies. So uh, OT, operational technologies and IT results in complex, uh, their interaction results in complex and often unexpected interactions that finally can determine uh, uh, the critical dependency of cyber induced safety issues. Uh, while putting together uh, the two technology paradigms, uh, cyber physical systems uh, of critical infrastructures also take together the two communities, which were traditional, uh, let's say, far in uh, their background and concerns. Uh, the OT community, uh, the OT focused on safety and reliability is uh, characterized by a very strong background in technologies. For example, they use the rigorous validation approaches and strong standard standardization uh, at the heart of their strategies. Uh, at the same time, consequently, the, the traditional reliability solution, although well established and consolidated, um, uh, are ineffective uh, against, for example, human driven malicious coordinated actions resulting in complex multi stage attacks, which are typical instead of modern cybersecurity attacks. So we have these two words that um, are going together and uh, are now going together but they are uh, affected by their historical deficiencies uh, that, um, uh, that, uh, that are affecting uh, and uh, making the, and putting at risk their uh, security. So um, give us, given this background, how do you, could you be more explicit on how the project, the infrastructure project will 
address these challenges? Yeah, sure. Um, well, uh, the infrastructure technological approach uh, builds on uh, uh, modeling, um, uh, monitoring, and analyzing the propagation of attacks or misbehavior across the layers of sensitive industrial plants. So the, the, high, the highly risking critical infrastructure by correlating uh, uh, events uh, from uh, diverse data sources uh, in both the, the physical and cyber worlds. Uh, the idea of infrastructure solutions uh, is to provide to stakeholders uh, with uh, uh, an integrated and uh, uh, complete cyber physical situational awareness. Uh, thus, we want to enable uh, the implementation of information decision, decision making uh, at all stages of sensitive industrial plants protection. What is, uh, I think, uh, let's say awesome from uh, uh, our work in Infrasys is uh, uh, its capability of doing comprehensive monitoring of security and dependability aspect in the industrial control system environment. Uh, this is very challenging because it includes a plethora of uh, heterogeneous technologies and uh, we are actually uh, combining information from the, uh, from uh, uh, different uh, data sources from both cyber and physical worlds and from both cyber and physical detect detectors, uh, combining so uh, taking also into account, uh, for example, the risk of um, uh, natural natural or uh, technological uh, hazards. So we are considering uh, not only the malicious actions coming from. Uh, uh, an attack or uh, of either uh, originating from a cyber or physical world, but also the uh, ha the hazards that could occur in the environment, uh, um, like an earthquake. So uh, this is something that makes us, uh, I think, uh, unique. And um, and also I want to say that we um, uh, we also move on the methodological aspect. Our project also provides a contribution in terms of methodologies for uh, assessing and managing the, resi the resilience of a critical infrastructure. That is also an, another important uh, aspect, in my opinion. Mm, thank you. So, so you've, you've uh, described the rational and the, um, the ID and the uh, contribution of infrastructure yeah. uh, in general. Can you now be a little bit more specific about the um, the uh, contribution of Chini, besides its role of being the technical coordinator. Sure. Yeah. Um, well, yeah. Chini is the technical coordinator of the project, so uh, we uh, manage the, the technical project work. Obviously. Uh, besides that, me and uh, obviously the rest of our research group work on a number of uh, technological solutions. Um, we are responsible uh, of components uh, at different layers of, uh, of, the, uh, of the infrastructure platform because we are responsible of uh, uh, two cyber detectors, uh, one for the detection of uh, attacks via uh, the monitoring of the, um, of the industrial plant business process, and another one uh, for the identification of security issues uh, uh, in um, in typical protocols of industrial IoT, industrial Internet of Things, we focus on low power wide area network, and we monitor uh, one of the protocol widely adopted by industries uh, to exchange with uh, low power consumption data across uh, um, large environment. Uh, besides that. We provide a security information and event management system that collects uh, um, collects events occurring in the critical infrastructure from uh, from diverse and heterogeneous sources, and we the peaks basically our component uh, is like uh, a. Um, a, 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 collect, a collector component that receives uh, events from different detectors implemented in the context of the project and depicts the situational picture of the overall infrastructure status. Finally, uh, another important thing, another important activity that we are uh, um, taking care of 
uh, relates to the implementation of a virtual testbed solution, which gives us, uh, which gives the possibility of doing security testing uh, without exposing the operators involved in uh, in, uh, um, in safety and availability issues. So we uh, uh, enable security testing, but at the same time we want to do deep security testing, so stress test the infrastructure and see the impact of certain malicious uh, malicious actions. But at the same time, we don't want to uh, put at risk the, the, the pilot providers of our project and so um, expose to resilience, uh, uh, to availability problems, uh, the infrastructure. Okay. And what, what are the project's uh, specific benefits or expectation for your organizations, your lab, fitness group? Yeah, uh, well, we are a research group. And uh, so one uh, uh, important benefit is for sure the, the thing that from this project, uh, we will have for sure the po we have the, for sure the possibility of knowing uh, the actual requirements and needs from a real critical infrastructure providers, such as the service operators which are involved in infrastructure. So um, something that is uh, typically a problem for for the research community is to not have the um, the possibility of uh, uh, of interacting with. Uh, um, real providers uh, with uh, real infrastructure of having uh, or, or using uh, real data sets. So this is something that typically, uh, it, this is a typical problem uh, that affects uh, um, uh, sometimes the research world, the, the research communities. Mm -hmm. uh, while thanks to infrastructure, uh, we will have the, we have the possibility of, uh, of moving forward. Furthermore, uh, infrastress, uh, I think, is a great opportunity for us even to, um, to make our research activities rapidly grow, thanks to the collaboration with a number of European uh, entities specialized in the field, uh, in actually the field of critical infrastructure security. So this, is, this allows us also to improve uh, and have a better know-how in the management of, of uh, information and operational technology combined security. So that is, I think, my, the, the most important benefit uh, of, our, um, of our participation in the infrastructure project. Okay, well, Giovanni, Matteo, thank you very much. Thank you, Renaud, thank you very much.